What's up, guys? It's Madison Beer. My new song is called Dead, and you are watching my exclusive iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat. So I have some questions here from my beautiful, lovely fans. Um, the first one is Katie from Bristol said, How did you come up with a song called Dead? I go way back with you to We Are Monster High. I love listening to you. Thanks, Katie. Um, we Are Monster High was so much fun to do. I actually love that video. I have, like, colored hair in it. It's super cute. Love that you know that. Um, <laughs> how did I come up with a song called Dead? Um, I say dead a lot. I'll always be like, oh my god, god I'm dead. I'll, oh my god, I'm dead. So I always said that. So I just thought it'd be like a cool name for a song because I feel like a lot of people say that in just like their everyday life. And then obviously, you know, I made it. You could text it to your ex. Barry from Greenville said, if you could bust out to one karaoke song, what would it be? Oof. That's so hard. It changes all the time. I usually go for like something Christina Aguilera, but recently I've been singing Feeling Good by Michael Bublé. Dawn from Kansas City said, will we be seeing you on TV soon? A tour? Um, yes, I actually have been doing like some radio stuff and I'm not radio stuff. I've been doing TV stuff and I have been, you know, going on like Good Day America or Good Morning America, Good Day LA, like all that kind of stuff. So if you watch the news, then you'll probably see me. And a tour, I guess, once my album or EP, whatever my project is come out, I will do a full tour and I will make sure to come to Kansas City. Maddie from Fairfax, if you could tour bus, if your tour bus could pull up to other artists' tours, what would five concerts you would drive to go see? Good question. Wow, Maddie, killing the game. Okay. One, I would go see a Rihanna concert, obviously. Two, I would go see Khalid. Three, I would see Drake. Four, I would see... I don't know. This is hard. I'm like, now I'm not thinking of who I would go see. Um, 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 um. I love Daniel Caesar, and I love Frank Ocean. Those are my five. Um, Ginger from Vegas said, if you got into a slap fight with Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber, who would win? My money is on my honey from Long Island. <laughs> I love her. Um, who would win? I mean, like, are you saying, like, if Ariana and Justin got into a fight or if I got into a fight with both of them? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with, like, me and Ariana fighting and then me and Justin fighting on who would win, um, and then I'll put them against each other. If me and Ariana got into a fight, I feel like, I might win just because, like, she's, like, super cute and, like, tiny and cute. So I don't know. But I would feel bad, like, I don't know. I don't want to get into a slap fight with anyone. But don't come for me. Um, me and Justin, I would definitely win because we, like, have wrestled before and I've beaten him many times. Um, and then Ariana and Justin, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like Ariana, she just beats me. I don't know. Um, Trish from Fort Thomas said, I read somewhere that you said you wouldn't date Justin Bieber. May I ask what you look for in a possible boyfriend? <laughs> That's funny. Um, I didn't say I wouldn't. I more just said, like, like someone asked me if I would, if I would use somebody for fame, and I was like, uh, no, obviously not. But um, I think Justin's great. He's amazing. Uh, he's just as more of, like, a brother figure to me than anything. But um, I look for in a boyfriend. I look for someone who's funny. I love someone that can make me laugh. If you make me laugh, you're, like, halfway there. So um, someone that's funny, someone that I can, like, bounce stuff off with. I like to think I'm witty and, like, on my feet. So when someone is like that as well, it's really fun to, like, bounce stuff off and um, just like kindness and someone that's honest with me. You know, honesty is everything. So Mary from Findlay said, will you be releasing an EP or album this year? I'm not sure yet, Mary. I'm not sure yet. It'll probably end up being an EP, but I'm working towards an album. So those songs that are on the EP will go towards the album. Amy from Boston said, who do you text the most with? And which one of your friends needs to use spell check the most? Who do you text the most with? Oh, I don't really text like frequently with anyone. Um, probably my mom, honestly. <laughs> um, and who needs spell check the most is my friend Charlotte. She's always like writing, writing, and then stars. And I'm like, dude, just, just read your text. <laughs> Louie from Ajax said, what TV shows or music influenced you growing up? Um, honestly, like I love Britney Spears. I've always loved Britney Spears. So she really influenced me a lot growing up. And then TV shows, I was always watching Scooby-Doo and like Cat Dog and that kind of vibe. So um, I don't know if they really in influenced me or inspired me, but they might have. 
Jenna from Holland said, if you could be on a billboard in Times Square, who would you be to pick to be in the picture with you? Um, my dog, for sure. And I think that's it. So thanks again for watching my exclusive iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat. I'm Madison Beer, and my new song is called Dead. Thanks, guys. Peace and love. Love you. Bye.